<laughs> Good morning. My name is Denville Kummel, and it is my great honor and pleasure to be standing here in front of you today after what has been a life-changing and amazing experience. I was able to conduct my experiment up thrust in microgravity with the help of this apparatus on a zero-gravity-inducing parabolic flight in Florida, USA, on the 4th of October. Newton discovered the law of gravity, and Archimedes discovered the law of buoyancy. My experiment tested the relationship between these two laws. Here's the apparatus that I used to conduct my experiment with. Put simply, it consists of a 50 centimeter tall, watertight column filled with water. Inside here is an orange ball filled with air that also has a metal tack attached with hot glue. This here is a magnet, a very strong circular magnet that attracts the tack attached on the ball. This magnet helps hold the ball down against the buoyant force exerted by the water column. This ball should float when released, on Earth at least. This is because of the buoyant force being stronger than the gravity acting upon it. Let's test this, shall we? <coughs> on average, it takes the ball one second and 800 milliseconds to reach the top, on Earth. So I wonder, what would happen to the ball when it was released somewhere there was none or very less gravity? Would it still float to the top? Would it not move at all. On Earth, gravity can't be switched off with the help of a button, right? Although it would be cooler if that was the case. The only way to find out my answer would be to conduct the experiment in space or an artificial zero gravity environment. I was able to perform my experiment in the latter. So no, for those of you wondering, I did not actually go into outer space. The last time I saw you here, I left you all with a question. Would the ball move slower or faster in zero gravity? I've seen what happens, and I'm here to tell you today. So, we know that on Earth, it takes the ball an average of one second and 800 milliseconds to reach to the top. In lunar gravity, which is the gravity you can experience on the moon, which is 0.16 g, that is 84% lesser than what you are experiencing right now, it takes the ball seven seconds to reach the top. And in Martian gravity, which is the gravity you can experience on Mars, which is 0.38 g, that is 62% lesser than Earth gravity, it takes the ball four seconds, 930 milliseconds to reach the top. And in zero g, which is obviously 100% lesser, being zero, the ball didn't move at all. Buoyancy and gravity are therefore directly proportional according to my findings. It was a fantastic experience. I did a few push-ups in lunar gravity with little to no effort at all. I wished on the plane that all PE classes were in lunar gravity so I don't actually have to do much work. <laughs> Another experience on the plane was the feeling of hypergravity. When the plane goes directly upwards, the gravity exerted on you is like having two people that weigh the same as you, pushing you down and not letting you get up. I wondered how my experiment would act in hypergravity. I requested the flight controller for permission to conduct my experiment in hypergravity as well. She reluctantly agreed and advised me to make sure my head didn't fall below my shoulders. Bravely, I exerted a lot of force to conduct the experiment. It was like having two dendrils pushing me down, and I struggled, reached out, and pulled the magnet. It took the ball just 500 milliseconds to reach the top. Overall, it was an amazing experience. I even did a complete somersault in zero gravity. That is something I can't even imagine doing on Earth. I floated. I felt, for the very first time, what it was like to be an astronaut. I feel honored to have experienced this, and if it's, if it's one message I can leave with you today, it's to follow your dreams. No matter what anyone says, they told me the sky was the limit, but the sky doesn't end at the Earth's atmosphere for me. My sky reaches beyond the galaxies into deep outer space. That's my limit. It could very well be yours. Thank you.